Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video and today I have a very interesting launcher video for you so I'm going to show you how to use and uh, set up the pixel launcher which I'm uh, using on daily basis as you previously saw in my video so uh, right now I'm with the TouchWiz one and uh, I'm going to show you how to do this so basically there will be a link in the description and uh, just go ahead and install the latest version which is 3.0.1 and uh, after you install it just uh, press the home button and you, you'll see that uh, you'll be greeted with this menu to select the launcher click on the pixel launcher click on always and then you have this over here so first of all i have a couple of things to mention over here of course you start the setting up uh, which icons uh, for you to be onto the home screen and uh, so on but uh, i'm going to uh, speak this thing on the top which is uh, the glance feature at the glance it is called by google so uh, to have this and uh, i think to have the pixel launcher you should have the uh, google icon i mean the google application uh, which should be installed then because i'm on uh, android 7.1.1 when you press and hold on it, you see that uh, you have the 3D touch thing. So if you want to know how to have uh, Android 7.1.1 and uh, actually the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 port, just click on the top right corner of uh, this video right now to uh, take a look at it. So to continue with the launcher, you can see that if I swipe to the left, I have my uh, Google Now feed, which is uh, something really nice. And um, as I wanted to continue, so I uh, have uh, this, uh, the weather widget for example, you must have your notification settings, uh, sorry not notification, but location settings set at least to battery saving so that uh, the Google application knows where you are and uh, can put your weather up there. And also if you want to have a calendar event over here on the top, uh, you must uh, have the uh, Google calendar application and uh, also you must have uh, your sync up so that your syncing is turned on so uh, when you turn on your sync and uh, wait a couple of seconds or just go ahead and uh, hold on it then go to uh, Google and uh, when you see that all of those things are synced up just go ahead and restart your phone and uh, also with, if, it's, if it is still not working take a look at the fix which is into the frequently, frequently asked questions which I'll leave uh, into the description below to take a look at uh, all the problems that you might have with it so uh, basically this is the smoothest launcher and uh, the most uh, beautiful one uh, in my, uh, in my uh, usage. Also you have uh, this uh, Google thing over here on the bottom, this widget which uh, puts you to um, your search results so that uh, you can search whatever you want and you can see this uh, smooth animation for me it's smooth. Right now I'm recording and it's choppy but uh, actually it's smooth onto the everyday use and you can see you can click here over on the top and uh, search for uh, whatever you want. Also, something really cool is that uh, all the Google applications have uh, rounded icons over here, um, which is uh, which pass with uh, with uh, the uh, latest uh, Android uh, theming, and uh, the fact that uh, you can also have the Wi-Fi wallpapers which come from Google. Um, those over here onto the bottom left corner. So, for example, we'll go to a walk in the clouds from Hawaii. And we'll set this as a wallpaper. So if you can, if you want to have uh, this cool wallpaper, uh, which I'm going to demonstrate you right now. Uh, so if you want to have it, uh, just go ahead and again into the description. There will be a link for it as well. And um, if you want to use them, you should go into the Play Store and to type in wallpapers, uh, so that uh, the Google application will pop up. So I'm going to show you which one it is. So this is the Google application for wallpapers. Just go ahead and install it and uh, whenever you uh, hold and uh, press onto the wallpaper after you have installed the APK into the description you have this section over here and also you have uh, all the others so if you want a pure black for example just go to solid colors and you have it down here and you can set it for both lock screen and uh, home screen but when I'm not recording uh, with AZ screen recorder it is working so that uh, uh, you can put the pure black so uh, just something to tell over here is that um, the ones that are working are those three on the top and uh, let me just scroll a little bit this over here hidden fires onto the left uh, is working the one with the planets are working for a couple of seconds but then they crash so uh, they're basically not working so uh, these are the five that you can use so uh, this is the one that is uh, working which is one of the coolest this one is working as well and uh, as I told you this one and uh, you'll see that uh, if I set up 
the um, planet one it will crash it will crash into a couple of seconds if you see this uh, thing over here just go ahead to home settings go to customization go to use dark theme and you can see that right now on the bottom and you see that, that the application just crashed and it will go to pure black and you see that uh, this thing over here on the bottom which was white so look at the bottom now it is pure black but if I again disable the use dark theme you can see that uh, right now it is kind of white so that it uh, passes with uh, everything so you have a pure dark theme which is something really cool and you can see that it even returns to my other wallpaper also you have this scrolling effect I don't know how smooth you can see it but uh, it is working perfectly so just go ahead to the description and give a chance to this amazing launcher so thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one peace